Hi, it's Brendan Foster here and I'm delighted to be here on the seafront of South Shields where we'll be back in September for the Great North Run. The 2022 Great North Run is returning to its finishing home which is on the seafront of South Shields. In 2019 we were here, in 2020 the event was cancelled because of the pandemic. Last year we had to reorganise the event in a different way so it started in it started in Newcastle and finished in Newcastle because we weren't allowed to stretch the whole thing because of because of social distancing. But hopefully, as the pandemic turns to an endemic, we'll be able to organise the event in, in its normal fashion, bringing people together, because that's what the Great North Run is all about. Starting on, in Newcastle, crossing the Tyne Bridge, running past Gateshead Stadium, and then finishing on the traditional route along the seafront in South Shields, where there'll be thousands and thousands of people supporting, as they always have done, I'm Councillor Tracy Dixon, I'm the leader at South Tyneside Council and we're really delighted to be welcoming back the finish in South Shields of the Great North Run. Obviously last year we were really disappointed but we understand the reasons that the decisions were made by the Great North Company but you know we've been working really closely with um, everybody there and it's so important that we have the finish here. It'll boost the economy, it'll be really exciting for the businesses and it'll give the spectators and the runners the opportunity to see what South Shields and South Tyneside is really about and it gives our residents who are so, so friendly the opportunity to cheer on the runners at the end and we're so excited for it coming back in September. I'm Emma Lowell, Book Member of Parliament for South Shields and I'm really excited that the Great North Run is ending in its rightful home this year on South Shields coastline. There's nothing like the feeling as you get into South Shields, the crowds just go absolutely wild and when you come down that bank and you're running along to the finish line, it just spurs you on and I think it just shows, um, it shows our town in the best possible light on one of the best days of the year. You know, it shows how kind and caring and what a community we've got, everyone who runs for charity, it's a really emotional day and then our hospitality industry, they really need this after what's happened over COVID, you know, our pubs, our bars, our restaurants, our B&Bs, this is the one day of the year where they make a lot of money so last year they were really devastated because they lost a lot, this year I'm hoping it'll be a bigger than ever Great North Run and more and more people will come along. My name's Craig uh, and I'm doing the 4,200 kilometre challenge this year. Uh, which is 10 kilometres every day and a half marathon every Sunday and the Great North Run is one of the half marathons I'm doing as part of that challenge. I'm running on behalf of two charities, uh, the North East Autism Society and the Alan Shearer Foundation. Uh, I'll be roughly 3,000 kilometres into the challenge by the time the Great North Run comes around and I'll have another quarter of the challenge to go. Uh, my name is Billy Burrell, I'm a resident of South Shields, looking forward to doing the Great North Run this year which will be the first time in over 30 years since I did it um, and obviously the first time since I've lost my sight. We, we did train last year but because of um, some medical problems I cropped up I wasn't able to do it and I had to withdraw and roll my place over to this year. Um, I mean we trained along the quayside in Newcastle as well as along the seafront and shields last year and uh, I really enjoyed it. I'd never run with a guide before or even you know like walked with any pace but um, I got myself one of those straps where the links were wrist to wrist and uh, it was a bit of a challenge initially but uh, we started getting used to it. Almost like you say, it's, it's absolutely amazing here and that, that home crowd and um, I thought that was something that was, you know, would be a huge miss last year but obviously it was unavoidable um, but something I'm really looking forward to this year.